Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hope so, you are well. I am Siam and today in this video, I will show you how to apply some Norwegian University. And today in this video, I choose Ostfold University College. In previous, I made a video about how to apply in the USN, that means University of Southeastern Norway. The link will be shown in here and I also give this link in my description so you can check this video. So in the USN, we do not need to upload our financial proof but in the Ostfold University College, they asked to submit our financial document. So uh, there are lots of steps so let's go for it. First of all, we will open any browser, then write Ostfold University and click www.hiof.no. The link will be shown in my description also. After clicking that link, we will be redirected that page and then we can see study program in English link. We will click that link. After clicking, we can see a lot of program and we can filtering by selecting those fields. I am choosing information technology subject and my level is masters. So <coughs> there are two types of programs. One is master in applied computer science, master in applied computer science part time. That part time is actually for Norian people and master in applied computer science is for all students. So I'm clicking that link. In here, <coughs> they said a lot of things like like about your about the program, admission, structure and content, what will you learn, study abroad, work and feature studies. So for admission, we will click admission button. And then we can see when to apply. So here they said that for outside the EU students, the application start 1st November and application close 1st of December and for residents in the EU or Norian or Nordic region, the application start is 1st February and application last date is 1st of March. So and here requirements for admission section where we can see what are the requirements and here they say that we have to minimum overall 6 bands in IELTS and we have to upload a proof of funding they might be asked and test and uh, after going through all the things we can see how do the apply so here they instructed us how we can apply so for applying we have to click that button apply for this program and here we will see that page and if we scroll down then we can see login international applicants <coughs> so we have to uh, fill up our email address and our password and if we don't have in our email address and password for this website then we have to click register new international applicant button and if you want to know how we can uh, register then you can see my previous video the link will be shown in my description and i and i also give this link in my icard i applied in previous year so i don't need to register again so i have to log in with my previous credential so after uh, success after uh, putting on my email address and password we have to click log on button then we can see that page and here we have to uh, select and write the required fields. After uh, writing all the required fields, we will click next button and here we have to select international master programs as because as we are not nordic people or not european people 
then we have to click select button and here they say a the lot of things uh, after going to all the link we will select our required or our choiceable subject after choosing subject click add button and then we will click submit my submit your application button then we have to upload the documents in my previous year i uploaded that document so in this year i again upload all the documents so for uploading my documents we will click upload new document and select what document we want to upload and we have to write the institution name click the start date and click the end date and if we want to write any description then we have to click choose file for uploading our file and we have to go to the folder where we save all our documents then select which file we want to upload then click the upload button so uh, for the same way we will upload our all documents And here they said that uh, we can submit our documents by 8 December 2021 after uploading all the documents we scroll down and click the next button and here we can see our receipt 
and here is your application number status is under consideration and please make sure that your email address is correct yes and then click the done button and here you can see that your app my application section here is your document and if you click your gmail then you can see that one email is sent that your application is successfully received by them and one email is that your all document is uploaded successfully thank you for watching this video